Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get games like Rose Squadron 2, which is a GameCube game working on the Steam Deck. So this tutorial is going to show you how to install Dolphin, which is a Wii and GameCube game emulator. And we're going to be running the Linux version of this on SteamOS, and it's going to be working on the Steam Deck. We're going to have all of the overlays working and all the controls working too. So today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and do that. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It just takes a moment to do, but you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Steam Deck tutorials. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and press the Steam button here, and then we're going to go to Power and we'll switch to Desktop Mode. So once we're in Desktop Mode, we're going to go ahead and open the Discover Software Center. And we're going to go to Applications, Games, Emulators, and then we're going to scroll down and then we're going to find the Dolphin emulator here. Or you can do a search for it in this bar at the top. Here I'm going to select Dolphin and then we're going to press the install button here. Now this has started that install and download process. Once that's downloaded, what we're going to do is to close this. And I want to go to Steam and add it as a non-Steam game. So this is going to allow us to run this in gaming mode. So within Steam, I'm going to go to Games, add a non-Steam game to my library. And I'm going to scroll down and we're going to find Dolphin emulator. You're going to check this box and then press Add Selected Programs. And now if I go to my library and I scroll down a bit, I want to be able to find Dolphin Emulator. It's going to be listed within Steam. So I'm just going to do some initial setup through the desktop mode, and I'll switch to gaming mode later. Now I'm going to press Play, and then I'm just going to minimize this. So here we have the Dolphin main menu, and what I want to do first is to add the game folder. So we need to download some Wii or GameCube games, and we need to add them to a folder here. So in order to download Wii or GameCube games, all you need to do is to search the name of the game into Google, and then type in the word Wii or GameCube ISO, and you're going to find plenty of download links. Just be careful of what you download from the internet. So I want to add another location. So if you wanted to add games from the internal solid state drive, that's quite easy to do. You just press open and then you can find any of your files here. However, if you wanted to add from your SD card or an external drive, what you need to do is to use flat seal in order to give permission for Dolphin to access those drives. So here within the Discover Software Center, do a search for this application called flat seal. What we can do is go ahead and install it. Here I'm going to launch it. And then what we want to do is to find your application on the left sidebar here. Dolphin an emulator. I want to scroll down and then we want to go to file system and then we basically want to add other folders. So I'm going to press the plus folder icon here and then we're going to type in our path. So for example in the Dolphin file manager I can go to my SD card and then I can click at the top here and then copy and paste this path and then I can paste this into here. I can also do this for my external drive where all of my data is kept. So I'm going to copy and paste this as well. You have to use Control V to paste it there, or you can just retype it. So now that's done, I can close this, and then I'm going to relaunch Dolphin entirely. So here we're going to open Dolphin again. So what I can do now is to double click on here to set my folder, and I'm going to go ahead and go to Extra. This is my external solid state drive. I'm going to do my emulation folder, and then find my Wii GameCube folder, and then press Open. And then that's going to add all of the games that I have in that particular folder. So once you've added your games, it's time to set up the controller. So I'm going to go to the controller section here, and we want to set up this like a GameCube controller ideally, because the Wii controller is going to be a bit more difficult to get working on the Steam Deck. However, a lot of games do work with the GameCube controller. So at the top, I want to press the configure button here. And basically, export input is going to be there by default. You want to go down to here and select STL0. So this is emulating the X input. And basically, what you want to do is to go ahead and basically clear all the buttons and then remap them all exactly how you'd like it to be. So this is what the game GameCube controller layout is like, and so what you want to have is something similar on the actual Steam Deck controls. So here I'm just going to remap mine. So I'm going to put A here, B here, X, Y. So the control stick refers to left analog stick, and the C stick is normally considered the right analog stick. And then we have the L buttons here, and then the R button here. So I'm just going to call this profile a Steam Deck and press save. Basically, this is the type of controller layout you're going to want for the GameCube controls. And the other thing that we should do is configure the graphics. So normally what I'll do is to change the back end to Vulkan. That's going to make this much faster. We're also going to change the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. So most games will support 16 by 9. I'm also going to get it to show the FPS. And then I'm going to change the enhancements. So normally the internal resolution of the Wii is pretty low. You want something close to 720p, which is the resolution of the Steam Deck. So I'm going to change this to 720p, and pretty much that's the only thing that you really need to do. I'm going to press close. What I'd like to be able to do is run this through the gaming mode so that we don't have to use this desktop menu. So I'm going to close this now. What I'm going to do is double click on return to gaming mode, and then we're going to load this with the default Steam UI. So we have the Dolphin emulator here, but we can go ahead and get a library, and then we can find the Dolphin emulator under non-Steam games here. So I'm going to load this up, press play. Now we have our list of games. So here we're going to load up Rogue Squadron 2. So while we're loading up the game, we can press the Steam button here, 
and we can reconfigure some of the trackpad menus. So what I like to do is to be able to edit our layout, go to trackpads, and then what I'm gonna do is to change the up key. So what I wanna do is to change this to the F10 button to pause the game. I'm also gonna go down and reconfigure down so that it does a keyboard button, which is tilde. So that's gonna activate our save state button. So in the hotkey settings here, so I'm gonna change this to the tilde, which is being called graph here. So it basically means that if I now press the trackpad down button, it's gonna save state. I can also test out my trackpad pause button here which is handily mapped to this button now. So that's quite a handy tip. So another thing is that we need to also configure the audio. So I'm gonna show you how to flick between windows on the Steam Deck. You press the Steam button here, and when you have this menu here, you can actually switch to the back end quite easily by pressing this button, and then we can go ahead and do some configuration. So one thing that we need to do is go back to config, and if that window doesn't come up, we just press Steam, we go back to settings and press B, and then we're gonna do a change of the audio engine. So this thing we can't do while the emulator is being run, so what I'm gonna do is to stop emulation here, stop that. Then we're gonna press the confirm button, yes. And then we're gonna go back to the back end here, go to config, and then we need to change our audio back end to cube B. So done that, and we'll load up the game again. And then I'm gonna go back to the head here. I'm gonna go and load my state. So now sound is working again. So that is how you go ahead and flick back to the back end, even though we're on the Steam OS side of things. So anyway, this is how you go ahead and run Wii GameCube games on the Steam Deck and how to get the controllers configured and how to get the audio working. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.